you. My phone is at like 1%, go figure. Uh, so I have the comments over here. Over here. So I'm just gonna have to keep peeking behind me for a little bit. Well, actually, wait a minute. Maybe I can move this. Well, I just got done sewing the last of the lace onto journals right here. So happy to have that done because that's honestly a big part of this whole process. But let's see here. So how are you guys doing? Hi, Maddie. I'm going to start ripping some book pages out of a music book. Hi, Bex. Hello. I had to come on a little later than usual because I wanted to spend the day, or yeah, I wanted to spend most of the day getting the sewing done on these journals, but luckily I have a little bit of time left, so I'm just going to rip some music pages out of this. And we're going to make some really easy book page pockets. We'll probably do like five, I guess. So if you're on yesterday's live, um, at the end, I think I was talking about making little ephemera folders for these journals. Well, then I spent the next like two or three hours making one, but I realized that what I came up with was gonna probably be something that will be separate because <laughs> it's way too involved, like to have as just a quick little addition to each journal. It's really cute, so I'll show you really quick, but I'll make a video on it. And then I think I'm going to make kind of a more simple ephemera folder for these, which maybe I'll do tomorrow. But it did turn out cute. But yeah, so it's right, it's like this. And then it has this little opening. And inside it has lots of pockets. So each one of these little side things here is a pocket. I should show you with like a little tag, I think. The, So there's pocket, 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 and then that goes up, whoops, <laughs> and there is, it's kind of hard to show this way, this is silly of me, but anyways, there's a little corner pocket, there's a clear adhesive pocket on this page, what else? <laughs> there's a pocket right here, yeah, you know what, I, there's lots of pockets, can't really... This isn't working out so well. There's some little pockets there. And then that just wants to keep going down. It'll be fine when you're not just holding it up. But there's a bag, a pocket, a huge pocket, all the pockets basically. So it was really fun to make. But like I said, it took a very long time. And I felt like I covered the entire thing with scrapbook paper, so anyways, okay, so that's out of the way. <laughs> Hi Genevieve and Marielle and Regina, let's see, I'll have my stacked junk mail envelopes video up in the next couple days, yay, I can't wait to see that also. Okay, so I am better get right in here, I am going to make these fun little book page pockets. They've been done before a hundred times. Um, I have a whole video coming out probably in the next couple days showing all of these book page pockets, book page pockets in a tabletop view. So it's more of a tutorial. So here we're just going to craft together, but I'll kind of show you what I'm doing to create these. So let's see. I always have to remember. So it's pretty simple, it's just a couple folds, but so you fold it like this, and again, you'll be able to see better in the actual tutorial, but 
fold it like this and then you just fold both corners in. I'm going to do that here real quick so I can see better. And depending on like how far you fold each one in, you might have like a different number of pockets that end up forming, I guess. And then you fold that side in. I'm just trying to get it as straight as possible, but I feel like since this one's kind of all wonky, it doesn't have to be, definitely doesn't have to be perfect. And then the cool thing is, is you can tuck one of the tails into this side. Pretty easy. There we go. And you could add glue if you want. I didn't add glue to my other ones, but I might. And then, so that's the base of it. And so I'm just going to make a few of these up and create them and decorate them. I mean, there's that. I want to use some pretty scrapbook paper because I feel like that totally makes, makes or breaks how it looks. Let me grab some clear adhesive stickers so that will go good. I'm going to grab a bunch of these like butterfly stickers that I have. Um, yeah, we'll start there. I have this gold gilding wax that I would like to use on like the edges. Um, it's hero wax, but oh, the other day I couldn't get the lid off. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Just made one lately. I love the fold. Oh, fun. Yeah, they, they are fun. And I, oh, yes, I got it. I think, I think they're really fun to decorate also. All right, I am going to use a stencil also because I decided that I liked how the music paper looked because then when I have the stenciling on it, it looks pretty cool. Let's see, where did my little dauber go? So, how has your day been going? Mine's been pretty productive. I'm very tired today. I'm not exactly sure why, but because I slept really good. But it's kind of gray out, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to randomly add the stenciling. To decorate this one, I'm just going to use some scrap piece. I really love this scrapbook paper pack. Um, I think I showed it in another video. Let me show you a few. It, they all look like kind of vintage wallpaper. Got it from Timu. Timu. Okay, so for this part, I'm just going to tear off and kind of like collage on some paper, I guess. <clears throat> Just putting up new listings in Etsy. Fun. Good, good. Okay. I just want to have the edges of the scrap of paper kind of torn. And let's see. This is not, we're not super close here. But you know what? We'll just, I don't, every time I do a live video, I'm like, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. And then I'm like, oh, that's okay. This is how, this is how we do it. Um, I could use washi tape to decorate these too, but I think for now, I'll just go ahead and do it this way, how I am. Um, oh, I noticed on one of the pockets, the tag was falling all the way through like that. So I am also, oh, I could sew these. Do I want to do that? I already have so much sewing in these journals that I don't know. No, I think I want to glue it for now. So I'm just going to add, you can kind of open it up and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. That will be fine. Because I feel like once you start adding like tags and journaling cards, you already have so much, so much happening with these pockets that I don't know that the sewing detail is really going to make a big difference. 
show this closer once I get it done. These come together quick, but I will want to maybe make some tags that will go inside. Ooh, I think I know what would finish this off nicely would be like some word stickers. So there's that, maybe like word stickers, the Tim Holtz ones, or, okay, I feel like I recently got some other ones. I'm gonna look at my stickers real fast. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, do you guys remember when we were cleaning out, when I was cleaning out my craft room the other day, I put a bunch of my stickers in this little folder thing, and I haven't been grabbing for it, but I shall now since they're all in here. Oh yeah, there's some pretty stickers in here. Okay. Let me go through and see. Lots of floral stickers, but I think since I'm using floral paper, I'll stick to the butterfly stickers. Okay. Nothing that I want to use, but I'm glad I remembered that. I do have these word stickers and they're like more colorful, so they might work pretty good. Um, I hate to have my phone right like this, but it's the only way I can see your comments. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Um, let's see. I gotta read, see what these things say, because sometimes <laughs> cute as a bunny. Singing in the rain. Sometimes these word stickers that come from like, you know, all the places uh, say really funny things. Okay, believe in yourself. That'll do. Let me just see. Eh. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. I put this little sticker right in the corner. Okay, down with that. I mean, yeah, that's seriously so quick. Okay, I was thinking maybe I'll make some tags right now to put in here, but let's stay on track. Let's make a few of these, and then if we have time, I can make some tags or journaling cards. I was thinking, do you guys ever use the cut aparts from the 12 by 12 pads? Let me grab one out real quick. I have so many. And I'm not very good about using them. I do once in a while, but there's so many, like tags and labels and things. So I think for this journal collection, I'm going to go through a bunch of my paper pads and just cut a bunch of these out because these types of things are actually perfect for something like this. So I'll set that aside. I think I once made a video showing different ways to kind of like spruce up the cut apart, is that what they're called? Cut aparts? Um, so I might even have to reference my own video. I actually do that a lot. Okay. I always kind of forget this first fold, but one thing that I find when I'm doing this little fold is that I like, you can't really mess it up because even if you don't get it perfectly straight or even if you, I don't know, have it a little crooked that's the same difference but either way um it still works out i guess what i was going to say is i like having one of the points a little bit taller and if you have like a graph mat that you work on you can measure this out a lot more but you can tell that that it's not perfectly lined up because like this part over here isn't you get what i'm saying it's not perfectly lined up over here so I like that a little bit better because I think it's just more interesting looking, I guess. Okay, and then just fold these in. I am trying to keep in mind how wide I'm making this, um, just because I want to make sure they're not too wide for my journals, but I think so far, I think they're fine. Oh, you have this paper pad. It's a good one. Hi, Susan. Hi, Ramona. Genevieve. Um, I had all my cut parts in a pile, and a couple weeks ago I sat down and cut them all apart. 
My plan was to round the corners and ink the edges and have them all in a bin ready to use when I needed them. That is a good idea, honestly. But all oh, the cutting ended up hurting uh, my fingers and now I have carpal. Oh, that's awful. I definitely know what it's like to have numb fingers. That's a bummer. But if you can get back to it at some point, that that's a great idea, honestly. And I love the idea of just rounding the corners and then adding ink because I feel like those are really simple steps and that can make such a difference on how they look. Okay, I'm going to add glue to the bottom. So I guess all I'm really doing right now is folding and then sten folding, gluing, stenciling. Oh wait, and decorating. Okay, JK. JK, JK. Just use the same paper for this one. Hmm. Glue this on. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? I need to decide. I need to decide. What are my options? Okay, let's think about this. I have leftovers from last night, but I had some of it already today. So, um, let's see. Let me think. What can I make? <laughs> I can make spaghetti. I can make orange chicken and fried rice. Every week it's kind of like the same meals over and over because it just makes sense for me to keep making the same things that both kids will eat. So I get kind of bored of it. I like to change it up, but it doesn't make sense to put all that effort in. So let's see, spaghetti, orange chicken and fried rice. Um, I could do pancakes and like breakfast stuff, but I don't really like sweet foods like like pancakes are so sweet um what else I'm trying to think burgers we do that one every week too i just get so bored i like to try out new recipes but yeah unless i'm like cooking for someone other than my kids it just don't make sense hello diana how are you Regina, yours, so your, your finger pain comes from playing the piano. Okay, we got this one done. Whoops, there's kind of a glare, but I need to make 10 of these. Um, so I'm working on 10 journals right now. I remember I set aside some fabric that I wanted to use to make an 11th, maybe a 12th journal. I can't find that fabric. <laughs> Maybe it's like a sign. Oh, speaking of, okay, I just can't stay on track, but so I bought these two journals um, at a craft fair like a month ago. Um, there was a sweetest lady there. I wish I got her name or like, I don't know, but she said she's not online anywhere because I asked because I um, she knew about my YouTube channel. And I wanted to like give her a shout out, but she doesn't do anything online. Wish I at least knew her name because I love these journals. I was looking at them. I was looking at them yesterday and I love, I'm going to show you in a sec, but I love how simple some of the pages are. And a lot of like her page decorations remind me of when I first started making junk journals. Um, just very like classic, easy go-to page ideas. And I was thinking that I should do a video showing these really basic ideas, but they're so cute. Like, here we go. We have like just an envelope with a flap up. Cute. I mean, 
little snippet, some stamping. I always forget to do stamping. She has lots of coffee dyed paper in here. These are the cutest little things. Even this one has just like a fun little decoration kind of thing, but I'll point out what I, kind of what I'm talking about. Um, oh, I loved these and I forgot that I made some index cards that were similar to this for the Patreon packs that I just sent out. I feel like I would love to make up a bunch more of those to just have in my stash and put in journals. Um, let's see. There's just a few that really stood out to me, like this right here. So a lot of times I'll put pockets hang on, in journals, but I loved how this one was kind of in the center of the page and how it's embossed. So I don't know, it's just, it's simple, but super cute. Same with this, a cute little heart tuck. And I'm obsessed with putting like hearts in journals right now, especially this collection. So I'll probably have to do something similar, but maybe like a little bit bigger. She has a lot of stamping in hers. These are so cute. And she said she was having a hard time selling these. I, I think that's what she said. And I was like, oh, I don't, but I think craft fairs are just kind of tricky, especially for like junk journal things, but so cute. And then even just like a cute little picture, like washi taped in. Oh, this one was one that I was kind of remembering was, um, this is an envelope but I like how it's like over the edge of the page. I used to do that all the time and I kind of forgot about that. And then, so then on this side, you have the envelope flap. You could put a decoration over it or you can use it as a tuck spot also. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen many of these. Oh, I loved this tag. Look at the sewing. That's so simple, but it's really cute. So if she happens to be watching my videos, just know I love the journals that I bought from you. So yeah, I don't know, it's just a few classic little page ideas that I really love. Um, and I feel like that made me think of a lot of other ideas that I used to do, so. Um, for you to do a redo of the older things you've done on your early channel. Susan, yeah, I actually have, uh, I have one of those coming. And one of my popular videos, here, let me look, I, of what it's called. I think it was like 10 page, uh, 10 easy page ideas that anyone can do. Those types of videos do really well. Um, yeah, 10, where'd that go? Yeah, there's 232K views. So anyways, I just made kind of a remake of that, but with new ideas and it was, um, it's just five page ideas because they're a little bit, oh, they're these ones that I'm working on. Hello. Yeah. So f five page ideas, but they're different than the 10 page ideas. It kind of made me realize that it's kind of hard to like come up with unique page ideas that no one's ever done before. It's almost nearly impossible because I feel like we have the same types of ideas when it comes to journal eight, that there's only so many things you can do, you know what I mean? But I did find this YouTube channel who makes very interactive junk journals. Oh, let me think of who she is. She deserves a shout out. Her channel's not super big, but she makes digitals to go along with her ideas. And like she made, she recently made this purse junk journal, which I've made a purse junk journal too. But this one was so cute. I think she called it like grandma's purse. I might have to look for it in a minute. And it has the cutest things in it. And like I said, she has a digital. I, I feel like I just have to take the time to look this up. Grandma's purse junk journal. I'm sure it'll come up. Maybe you guys already know, know who she is. Emma Parrish, if I remember. Yeah, so she has 2000 subscribers. When I saw that video, I was like, Dang, I was like, she's talented. She must have like a pretty big channel. And then I was like, well, she only has like 1.6K views on that video. Not only, but if you have a pretty big channel, you might have more. Yeah, she deserves so many more subscribers. You guys will have to check her out. Here, let me put that link for you. Cause she has, like I spent an hour one day going through 
and looking at all of her videos. I'm going to pin this to the top. So if you like interactive types of things, you, you'll like her channel. Okay. I forgot to stencil on this one, but that's okay. I'll go over there. Yeah, this is why I can't... <laughs> I think this is why I can't get a lot done on lives, because I'm talking, and I can't really shut up, and then I get sidetracked. So, that's why I started the day out with getting some work done, because I knew... I needed to. Oh, whoops. Yes, they are really cute journal. I mean, they're definitely a little bit different, but I don't know. She's she's an artist, that's for sure. Okay, did I glue this one? No. Okay, so dinner. What are we gonna have for dinner, guys? Gotta be thinking ahead here. <clears throat> okay, there's this one. Finish it off with a little sticker. Look on the bright side. <laughs> Own your dreams. Okay, we'll do that one. Own your dreams, sister. Another one done, another one, another one, another one, and another one. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I can put it in like that. Yeah, my back kind of hurts from sitting and sewing all these journals today. I just, I do not like sitting. It made me so tired. Ooh, tacos, oh, we actually had taco. Taco sounds so good, but we just had tacos Sunday night. Because that is another thing that my kids will eat. Well, not exactly. One kid will eat the tacos, one kid will eat a quesadilla, so it's kind of like the same ingredients, but... Yeah. But actually, like for some reason, now that you said that, taco salad sounds good. And I still have some leftovers from Sunday. What's today? Tuesday? I should, there. I should, yeah, I should do that. But I also, I don't know. Last night I made meatloaf. That's kind of a random thing that my kids really like. But my son, he doesn't eat meat. Um, so he likes the impossible beef though. And so, um, and he really likes meatloaf, but I think it's just cause he likes burgers. And the, honestly, that's what it ends up kind of tasting like. And I put cheese in my meatloaf, stuffed meatloaf. So I made that and I made au gratin potatoes and they were the best that I've ever made. Oh my gosh. They were so good. Marielle, thanks for sharing the purse idea. She now has a new subscriber. Oh, I'm glad. Like, I mean, like I said, I expected her page to be bigger than mine. She is very talented. You know, yeah, people like that, like that stand out to me. Like, yeah, I would be surprised if she's not like a professional artist, honestly. I don't know a lot about her, but I'm pretty sure she's the one that designs her um, printables also. And also, when I saw that purse idea, I thought it was cute. Now, I would love to make it just because it's a cute project. I don't know what I would do with it, but I almost wanted to buy the digital just for the like inserts that go into the purse because they're so cute. She has this one part of her digital that's like a hanker, uh, a hanky, a handkerchief, ha handkerchief. How do you say that? Um, and so, you know, you print it out on paper and it's a square and the way that she has it folded, it like does this cool like pop out. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but um, yeah, I thought it was pretty, I don't know where I was going with that conversation, but I did have something in my head when I started talking about it. I don't remember. Okay. 
I'm gonna rip two pieces of paper for this one. Oh, I guess I was gonna say, so I was looking at her Etsy shop because I was considering buying a couple of her digitals um, and I thought that they might be a little bit more expensive than like normal just because they're really interactive and like so cute, but they're a really good price. If I remember, I think they were like under $10. I don't know, I feel like for a big project like that, I, w I expected it to be a little bit more. So I took a screenshot of, of a couple of her folios. Uh, that might have been what it was inspiring me to make my folio. But she has some really cute folios on her channel. Again, she has digitals, but honestly, like you could also just watch her channel to get inspiration to like make your own with paper. But her digitals, I don't know, they're so cute. They really made me want to buy some but I didn't end up doing that because I also have so many darn digitals that I don't use enough and I hate that but yeah okay all you need is love that's what this one says I don't know if that's true do 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 I don't know if that's true Okay. Hmm. If you have any ideas, I, I'm getting hungry thinking about <laughs> this food actually. Oh, fettuccine was another one I was considering because I just went to my sister's house on Saturday night and she, she doesn't really cook. She has a few meals that she cooks and she makes the best fettuccine Alfredo. She gave me her recipe and I was thinking that's a something that's a something that I could make this week. I'm pretty sure my son won't like it. I think my daughter will. So it's kind of like if I make it, I'm going to have to have some kind of a backup. And I was thinking of making chicken, but he doesn't eat chicken. So anyways, lasagna is good. I love lasagna. But I like to make this one recipe. It's Cajun lasagna. You can find it on Pinterest. Um, and it's just kind of super involved, but anyways, lasagna, I, that would be, that sounds really good to me, but I don't have all of the ingredients. I don't have any ricotta cheese and I am not going to the store today, <laughs> but I'm going to put that one on my menu for next week. I was trying to explain to my son once. I'm like, if you like spaghetti, like I don't understand how you don't like lasagna, but I guess it depends. I guess it depends. He is kind of bothered by textures with some of the foods, and I was as a kid. I'm not really anymore, but as a kid I was, and anyways, why can't I get this in there? Ooh, ziti. That's a good one, too. And if I guess if I have... Let me snip this off. I guess if I have spaghetti ingredients. I could probably make ziti. Is that how you say it? Z not exactly how I just did, but ziti. Isn't that just like pasta? Isn't that just the pasta shape? I don't really know. Oh, from a message from my kids' schools. Report cards. My son is a 4.0 student this time around also. Hmm. Let me see. Um, ooh, okay. Oh, you're making chicken fettuccine. Yum. I used to go to a food truck that made grilled cheese meatloaf sandwiches. That would be really good. Yeah, thin slices of meatloaf. Actually, I have leftover meatloaf. Maybe that's what I'll make tonight. That sounds so good. Because it would almost be like a burger. And I have, I have like um, buns or bread. I would probably do it on bread for me. That's... I think that might be, because I might as well just use up. That's easy. I think. I'm so glad that you told me. Ooh, I will share the Cajun recipe. It is the best uh, lasagna that I've ever had. Like I said, it's a little involved because there's like, for the, the meat part of it, you um, use like 
two different types, like Italian sausage and ground beef, I believe. Um, so it's like a little bit more of an involved recipe, but I promise you it is so worth it. I have made it so many times. Um, there we go. Creole Contessa. Also, um, let's see if I can share it right now. Copy link. Yeah. Oops. The sauce, like you cook it for like a couple hours, but seriously, so worth it. It's so good. And even though the title says Cajun lasagna, when I think of Cajun, I think of like spicy and I can't do spicy. It's not very spicy. It's just very seasoned. You make like a Cajun seasoning to go with it. Um, yeah. Anyways. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi. Let's see. I had a cancellation, so I was able to come by. Oh, good. Well, we're just talking about food right now. I was curious what everyone was having for dinner. And I think I figured out what I'm going to have. But uh, yeah. I'll hold up one of these pockets that I'm working on. And I have like more of a tutorial coming probably tomorrow. No, tomorrow's my Timu haul video, I think. Yeah. So the next day. So probably Thursday. But they're very simple. So it's just a fun little pocket here. Okay. Definitely feeling more energized now that I'm up and moving. See, I, I tell you, something about sitting down. It's a waste of my time. Just kidding. Am I kidding? I'm not kidding, actually. Okay, let's see here. I love this paper. Um, so... Tomorrow, I think I'm going to start binding these journals and then adding the page decorations, but I want to come up with a simple envelope folio. I want to come up with, I want to make some wallpaper pouches and I want to maybe make a, ooh, I will make the fabric index cards, kind of like I had in my Patreon packs. And like I just showed in one of those journals where it's just an index card and then like a line of fabric. I don't know, they're simple. But anyways, those are the things that I want to make to include in all of these journals. So that's actually a lot. <laughs> I love how I'm acting like I'm just going to get that done tomorrow in 10 minutes. But realistically, these journals are probably going to be done in March. <laughs> Not really. I'm hoping they'll be done by this weekend, but is that realistic? You guys know how quick I move. Do you think I can? Do you think I can? I do have the next few days to be able to work, but tomorrow's a late start for my kids, so I get a shorter day. Thursday, my mom's coming over, so I don't have a full day then. Friday, oh, my daughter doesn't have school. Okay, just kidding. Embrace the journey, it says. Well, I can at least work on the journals over the weekend if I don't get them done. I am hoping I do. So if you did just hop on, I'll just give you a closer look at these fun little pockets. There's all kinds of <clears throat> slots to put things. Here, this one you can see a little bit better. I guess I already showed this one on the thumbnail photo. But... Okay, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I need four more. Actually, I'll make six more just in case I make more journals. Six more, yep. Just because I might as well just get it done while I'm here. I have the heart tab envelopes done. We made those the other day. But... I have a few more little page things that I need to make. Dang. Oh. 
Thank you, Jenny. Well, I didn't come up with the idea. I've seen it quite a few times. I've probably even made these before a long time ago, but yeah, I've seen a lot of people make these, so um, I'm just saying I didn't invent it since <laughs> invent since you said it was unique, but they are actually, they are kind of a unique shape and stuff, so I guess that could be said about them. Um, <laughs> that reminds me of something that was a silly laugh, but when I first started YouTube, I will tell you something that's kind of funny. I didn't quite know the importance of giving credit when you had an idea and then you showed it like on your channel. Like I would never say that I invented something or came up with the idea, but I definitely didn't always say, hey, like I got this idea from this channel and I don't really think it matters so much anymore because we all have a lot of the same ideas. But anyways, I once made a video on an accordion what was it called? An accordion like envelope kind of thing. And there was this other girl that had made a video on it as well. And I was just showing how I made it and whatnot. Anyways, I just remember that so many people got mad at me and they were like, you need to give her credit. Like she's the one who came up with this idea, but it wasn't a super unique idea. Like it's, it was all over Pinterest and things like that. But anyway, I don't know why I'm thinking of that. I don't even remember the girl's name, but, but I messaged her and I was like, Hey, sorry. Like I did see your video and that was where I got the idea, but like, I didn't, I just didn't know. I didn't know. Then I was very careful about it <laughs> moving forward. But now, like, like I said, yeah, unless I specifically saw one person do it and it was like their only idea, then I'll, make sure to do give credit. I don't know. I'm just going on about this. Um, which reminds me when I was making mini albums. Okay. Can I just say that the mini album community kind of terrifies me? I, I don't really mean that about everyone who makes mini albums, but I remember once that I did a video on a mini album and I showed how I was binding it together. And I actually did get called out and someone was like, you're not actually allowed to show the process because like this one lady actually like invented it and she has like a patent on it or something. And if you wanted to show and like, or not, it wasn't just showing, but if you were trying to teach other people how to do the binding, you had to have some kind of like a license or something like that. I was like, you're gotta be kidding me. But anyways, do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I agree, Carolyn. Coffee at Disney. Does that mean that you go to Disneyland and get coffee? I want to go to Disney. Do you go to Disney all the time? I don't want to. Disneyland's my favorite. Absolute favorite place. Hey, Bambi, I hear you. Are you going to the bathroom on the floor? I hope not. I'm going to make sure my dog's not going to the bathroom. Were you just bored? Let's show you my dog. Look how little he is. <laughs> there. Da, 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 da. He's very cute. Hi. Were you getting bored? My cat's here too, but he's so huge. Can I even pick you up? Oh. Nope. He ran. My cat is an actual mountain lion. He's actually so big. Was I talking about something? Oh, Disney. Yeah. I'm obsessed with Disneyland, man. Wish I could go. Okay. I grew up in California. Oh, that's, I think I knew that about you maybe. Disneyland is our go-to. Fun, how cool. Although, 
since you went to Disneyland more than probably the average person, would you say, was it still like such a cool place or was it, or yeah, or was it not really that cool since like you were probably went more than normal people, I guess. I always wonder that if you live next to Disneyland, is it still just as magical? That's what I'm trying to say. It seems like it probably still would be. I don't know though. I just don't know how it couldn't ever be. <laughs> it is such a magical place, honestly. Like, ugh. Like if I could go on a trip anywhere, like anywhere in the world even, I'm not even kidding, I think I would choose Disneyland. I don't know, I've been to Disney World, wasn't the same for me at all. It was not as cool, in my opinion. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome. Um, my, I'm not sure why my, my dog doesn't usually come to the door, so I better just put him outside real quick. Sorry, pet. Oh, that's the cat. Hi, Katie. What are you doing? Oh! Do you want to say hi? He would love to be in here, but he likes to mess everything up. He is the coolest cat. Look at him. Do you guys remember when he was a kitten? Um, we used to take him in the car with us all the time and he now like follows me around the house kind of like a little dog honestly he's pretty cool okay Ooh, we live five hours from disneyland that's so cool yeah, five hours. Like, that's quite a drive, but oh my gosh. It would be so worth the drive. It's like doable. You know, five hours is like a doable road trip. I wonder how many hours I live. <laughs> how many hours would it take me to drive there? Probably too many. Actually, when I was young the first time i ever went to disneyland i was probably six and my mom actually drove us from here from portland all the way we went with my aunt and my grandma so it was my sister and i and the way i remember it is so funny i remember that we started driving in the nighttime and my mom was like okay girls like she didn't tell us we were going to Disneyland she was like go to sleep and we're gonna go somewhere cool she's like when you wake up we'll be there and I actually feel like I remember going to sleep and waking up and we were there but there's no way that it was just an eight hour trip well wait a second maybe I guess if it was like eight hours we could have slept that whole time now I'm curious <laughs> I'm looking it up I think it's more than eight hours though Oh my gosh, my animals are being so weird. Let's see, when we're looking up Disneyland. How many out? 15. Yeah, I thought it was more than that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. But you know how you remember stuff differently from when you're a kid, so there might have been more to the story. Hi Marissa, how are you? My cat's name? <laughs> Funny you ask, my cat doesn't have a name. And almost everyone here probably knows that, but do you guys know that? Actually, the other day, my daughter was like, she goes, mom, she goes, when are we gonna get home to Jeremy? And I go, who? I go, I don't know who Jeremy is. And she goes, that's our cat. She goes, I just named him that or something like that. Yeah, he doesn't have a name. He never will. Everyone tries to give him a name, but he just doesn't. He's just a nameless cat. He's not, he's not sad about it. He loves not having a name, actually. We just call him Cat. My, my daughter has actually called him some pretty 
bad names, to be quite honest. Okay. Just needed a few more stickers. One year we pass. Butterscotch. Isn't Jeremy a funny name though? Butterscotch, that's creative. <laughs> that would make sense. In fact, I feel like, okay, I can't get this sticker off, but I think when he was a kitten, I remember people naming him or like giving me ideas for names, but we just couldn't agree on a name. That's the only reason. Okay, this one, the back doesn't come off. We just couldn't come up with a name that we agreed on because I think I had the best name, which was Oprah. No one liked it. I thought it was really funny. I still think it's funny to name my boy cat Oprah. I don't know. The journey is the destination. Hmm. Attitude is everything. These are some of these stickers are really funny. Be you bravely. Oh, with brave wing she flies. Okay, cheesy, but you know what? It works with the uh, butterfly stickers that I'm using. With with brave wings. Let's see. Where do I cut it? She flies. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. If you're just hopping on, I'll give you a closer look at this little pocket that I'm making. Yeah, Maddie, I, I actually just remembered that you named him Tombow. The glue Tombow. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Your dog's name was Reba, but called many nicknames depending on how she was acting. Yeah, that's true. Although my cat's honestly such a cool cat. I was gonna say he's never really bad, but that's not, I shouldn't say he's, or yeah, I don't know. He gets into things, but that's maybe cause he's bored or who knows, I don't know. For a while he was getting into all of my plants, not eating them or anything, but he would destroy them, he'd knock them over and it was such a mess. I had to rearrange like so many of my plants. Um, but he luckily got kind of bored of that. He hasn't done that in a while. But yeah, I do have some new pets. If you guys know that I like collecting pet bugs, well, we have some stick bugs right now. <laughs> I know I'm a weirdo, but they're so cool. And they eat uh, what's the actual name? They eat blackberry leaves, bramble. I think that's what it's called. And I live very close to a bunch of blackberry leaf or blackberry bushes. So it only makes sense. I can provide for these little fellas. We have three stick bugs. Their names are Eeny, Meeny, and then the last one's Miney Mo. No, I'm kidding. That was actually stupid, but actually, was that stupid? That might be funny if we had four. Maybe I need four. Um, oh, did you already show where you glue the bottom? Um, I think I did in the beginning. I'll show you if you're, if you're curious. And P.S. If you're just hopping on and you're actually wondering how I'm making these, I will have like a full tutorial video coming on Thursday. I'm just trying to get done with this because I need these for the journals that I'm making. But in the beginning of the video, I did kind of show a little bit. I, sh I don't know what I'm trying to say. I showed it a little bit uh, closer. That doesn't make sense either. I don't know. Let's see. Um, did you not want your cat to have a name just, or uh, I like the name Butterscotch like someone said on the chat. Yeah, someone did say that. Um, I don't mind that he doesn't have it, or I never thought I would have a cat that didn't have a name. It just happened to be that way because we took too long. So it just, it's, it is a funny thing, but 
Okay, let me fold this one and I'll show you where I glued it. And then just in case you are coming on right now, I'll also show you how you make these. So first of all, the first fold is you are kind of folding your paper. By the way, I'm just using a book page that's probably nine by 12 inches, but you can do this with probably any size. You do this fold right here and then you just fold both of these sides in, kind of like, sorry, like this, and then oops, this, and where I glued the bottom was like in between here. Does that make sense? I, it's better if I fold it, hang on. Uh, brats on the grill for for our dinner. Yeah, that does sound good. I have a grill and I don't really oh I don't think I've ever used it in this house to be quite honest. I probably should I could probably make a lot of well I didn't used to eat meat. I think I only I only started eating meat when I moved into this house. That's right. Um, if you didn't know that about me I didn't eat meat for 12 years of my life. So anyways, just a fun fact. So I am gluing just like the open part, if that makes sense. And I just do a line of glue. Hello. It's weird. I just had a message pop up from a really old friend. Oh, that's so weird. Uh, it, actually, it was one of my mom's friends growing up. Like almost like family but i haven't anyways that was just so weird i haven't heard from this person in so long she was like kind of a second mom to me uh okay let's see journal journey arts hello i'm glad that you're able to catch a live i'm probably not going to be on here much longer but hang out while you can Like for some reason, getting a message from someone you haven't talked to in a very, like years and years, it's almost like, I don't know why it made my stomach hurt for a sec because I'm like, is something wrong? You know what I mean? Like this, I don't know, but they're probably just trying to say hi, I guess. Okay, I love this stencil, I gotta show it again. It's like cheetah print. And then we'll take some paper and just collage across the bottom but obviously I'm doing it very simple did you feel healthier not eating meat or now that you eat meat Lindsay that's kind of a good, good question well first of all I'll say that when I didn't eat meat it wasn't for health reasons it wasn't really for any other reason just that I mentioned earlier that I was kind of like a pickier eater as a kid not picky but I was I didn't like a lot of textures so that was the whole reason I didn't like meat um, was just more of a texture thing I guess and I don't know just the thought of it kind of grossed me out to be honest so I mean I started I stopped eating meat at such a young age I was 12 that I can't really say if I felt healthy but comparing to how I feel now that's a good question I don't know I only started eating meat again because when when I moved into this house I lost a lot of weight some of you might have noticed um I lost a lot of weight not on purpose but because I was going through like a stressful time and I needed to gain weight back and I literally just started craving meat I was like I need to eat meat right now and so I just listened to my body and that's what I did so I don't know. I have a hard time answering that. I didn't feel unhealthy when I didn't eat meat. And I was vegan for maybe a year. Um, but I cooked. <laughs> I cooked like everything homemade. So I didn't eat a lot of like the store bought vegan meats and things like that. So anyways, because I feel like a lot of vegan options or even like vegetarian options have so much sodium and I don't know what else but I don't know that they're much healthier I think it depends I guess what I should what I'm trying to say is just because I didn't eat meat 
I don't think I ate a lot more healthier choices, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so you probably can be healthier as a non-meat eater if you're making good healthy choices, but I, I don't know. I wasn't really. That was a very long explanation to be like, um, actually I'm not too sure. Not too sure. But I love the meat now. I just really love it. No, never. Once you, once, never mind. No. Okay, I just have one more to make. <laughs> Lindsay. I don't know, I was gonna try to think of a funny joke, but it, I figured I better stop myself. These pockets would look really cute sewn, but, but, I don't want everything to be sewn in this, these journals. Plus, I just did so much sewing today that it just doesn't sound fun, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right, we have one more. <laughs> My voice just like, got really funny. One more. Um, oh, yikes. I didn't mean to put that where it went. Okay. Look on the bright side. It says out of limitations comes creativity. Be awesome today. Make today count. <laughs> One more. Oh, I keep forgetting to do the stencil, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, silly me. I forgot that I was wanting to use this gold gilding wax, but it might make sense that I'm doing it at, if I do it at the end anyways, because it is pretty messy. Sewing is great until you're, I thought that said until you're, I thought that said something else. I don't know why. Until your bobbin runs out. Yeah, Genevieve, do you know what? Today when I was sewing, I went through through three bobbins and all I, I just sewed lace on all of these pages in here. Like, I don't know, but the weird thing is I went through three bobbins, but I didn't even go through one spool of thread. I mean, I guess they are smaller. But for some reason today, it seemed like I went through it way quicker than I normally do. But luckily, I had three of them like pre um, done up or whatever. So I was able to just pop it in. But yeah. All right, last one, last one. I need to clean up this edge here and then what do you guys think should I use gold gilding polish along the edges of these if you do fancy stitches it can empty faster yeah that's true but you know what I just did a zigzag stitch but and I feel like I yeah I don't know maybe I just noticed it more because I was sitting and sewing for so long all at once. That could be. Yes, for the gold. Okay. Oh, let's not forget the stenciling real quick. I've tried to get in the habit of making five bobbins. That's a good idea. I only have three empty bobbin spools, or four. I only have four. I don't know. I should probably just buy some more. But I never think to. Alright, almost done here. Um, thinking that I have a lot of scraps of this pretty paper. So for this last one, I'm going to try something else. I'm just going to, I, I should, here. Let me 
Let me unplug my phone now. By the way, the other day someone gave a good idea and said that you can zoom in to like where my hands are working. So try that out if you're actually wanting to get a closer look at what I'm doing, but try zooming in. Uh, I'm gonna take all of these little scraps of papers that you can't even see and just kind of collage them all the way across. And hello to you in Argentina. How are you? We are finishing up the last little pocket and we're gonna add some gold gilding polish in just a minute. Okay, this is cute. This is cute. My spool of thread falls off. Oh, okay, actually mine has been doing that and I figured out why it does, so that could be your tension. I don't know how much you know about sewing, so ignore me if you know a lot, because I don't know a ton, but if you feel like your tension is kind of tight, um, it could be that. Bye, Maddie. Oh, were you saying bye? Or maybe someone else was. Oh, just kidding. You weren't. Bye. Um, why did I yell it as if you could hear me better? Okay, let me tell you, because I figured out why my why mine flies off it gets caught let me see if i have one so i noticed that my thread will sometimes get caught on this little notch um I, you probably won't be able to see like oh gosh that's my sorry huh, it's already 2 30 that means that was my alarm to remind me to do something um anyways there's a little notch like along the spool where like the thread where you can like hold the thread onto or not hold it onto, but where it, you know. Um, and so I've noticed that the reason why my whole thread gets pulled off is because the thread will sometimes be going around and it gets caught on that notch. So what I have found that works is I take a little file and I will file along all, just, I just do it all the way across because some of the spools of thread have like one or two little notches. so. Next time that that happens, try to check it out and see if maybe that's why. Um, that might be why yours is falling off. Okay. Anyways, almost done here with this last one. Okay. And then I just need to add my last sticker. Ugh, 2.30. Okay, I gotta do stuff, guys. I have stuff to do. But here, I'll show you how this one turned out. This would have looked really cute if I inked around the edges of all of these pieces, but I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, so we're done with these. Oh, let me put a little word sticker on this one. And then I'm gonna actually put these stickers back so that they can be with everything else. And I'll finish them off with the gold gilding polish or wax, whatever it's actually called. I kind of clean as I go real quick so that I can remind you guys to do the same. It makes such a difference, I feel like, when you clean as you go. And it's so hard to do when you're doing projects like this, but okay. Garbage, we're done. All right, now just give me a drink of this soda. And hi, Kat, how are you? Um, we're just finishing up, but you can watch the replay or watch Thursday's video, um, but we just made a bunch of pockets and I'm just going to finish them off with this, sorry. When I just took a drink for some reason, it made my throat feel really weird. Not like hurting, but, but like there's, I don't know. Anyways, like my throat's closing. <laughs> okay, so I just put my finger in the wax 
and I'll just kind of swipe it all over. I don't really like to do all of the edges and I don't like to make it look perfect, but just in a few random spots. This is not my favorite wax. Um, the one that I really like is from Amazon. Like, oh, it's so much better. For some reason, the texture of this one is a little too thin for my liking. I think it probably would work in different projects, but, but luckily I left the lid off by accident for way too long and um, it did kind of dry up. So now it's actually good, but it's still not my favorite. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell really on camera, but it does have a nice sheen to it. Oops. Yep, so I'm just gonna go through and do that all along the edges. Or not all along the edges, but some of the edges, I should say. Ooh, for some reason, this pocket has like some sparkles on it. Almost like glitter. I think it came from one of the stickers or something and it's so pretty and it reminded me how how pretty it would be to add um, sequins to projects. I used to use sequins on so many of my projects and like glitter because I used to be into card making but I don't use those things anymore. And, well, I guess I feel like Using sequins in journals, I feel like they end up falling off, kind of, like if you have them on your pages, so I don't know. I don't know. Whoops, I better turn my clock off, or my reminder, otherwise it's going to ding at us in a minute. Although I'm going to forget what I need to do, probably, but you know. Alright, this is messy. So... I'm gonna head out of here in just a sec. So let me know if you have any last questions or anything. Hi Laurel, how are you? Oh, this is, when it starts to dry on your fingers, it's kind of gross. I don't like the feel of it. I should have saved this for my daughter. She loves doing this part. Um, I've let her help me with some projects before. And she's actually quite good at it. She is very into um, creating, being creative, I guess I should say. She loves coloring, she loves making cards, and all kinds of little projects. But my son is also very creative. In fact, he draws really good. And what else? He draws really good. I don't know. Cool story, bro. Like I hear a frog outside or something. Or some kind of animal. Sounds like a frog. Actually, I've been hearing that at night, I noticed. Like it sounds like so many frogs. And I'm like, where are these frogs living? I do live next to like a forest, so I guess it's not that weird. Okay, guys. Fun to hang out. I was kind of worried I wasn't gonna have a chance to hop on today, but glad that I did. Hopefully, you guys had a fun time hanging out. Also, these are gonna be so cute on the pages. All right, it was a good idea to add this gold. I definitely. I think it gives it a nice finishing touch. Last one. Oh, I guess I didn't decorate this one. I don't know why. When did I make this one? Well, that's okay. 
All right, now I need to get all of this off. Ugh. Okay, guys. I better hurry. I have so many things I still got to do today. And it is time. Oh, yes, one sec, Sarah. And it is time for me to get my kids. One sec, let me get this off and see exactly what you asked. Which gold wax on Amazon? Oh, yeah, let me find that real quick. I'm going to go to my... Um, my orders page because that will be the easiest way I have repurchased it twice so if that tells you anything okay here we go creative expressions I'll give you I'll give you my affiliate link if you want or you can look it up it's called creative expressions metallic gilding polish it's $8.99 so I'm gonna put this in the comments here I'm gonna say affiliate link, Amazon, paste. There we go. It's a really good one. It has like a little, um, it comes with like a little sponge on the top as well. I've used it in a ton of my videos, so. And it's a bigger, um, I got this one from Joann's. It's much bigger than this. And, but I don't think I have any more because I bought this one hoping this would work. But yeah. The, the one on Amazon's definitely more of a waxy kind of consistency. You do have to make sure to put the lid on after every time because I've had one of mine dry out before when I wasn't good about adding the top or adding the, yeah. Okay guys, I gotta go. I'm running late. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, bye.